do you think this little three quarters of an inch tweeter is really going to make that noticeable of a difference in the sound quality? We recently upgraded the stereo. I have to say, I was super impressed. It really did change everything. And later on, we had another step up in sound performance by upgrading the indoor speakers, the six and a half inch lower speakers. Phenomenal. I'm really, really happy with how everything sounds now. And that's all I've done. No external amp, nothing else. Didn't do anything with the back speakers. And if I hadn't already purchased these matching Infinity Reference tweeters, I may not have purchased them and install them like we're doing today. So if you're interested in finding out how to install the indoor tweeter on your Lexus IS300, then stay tuned. Obviously the first step is to remove the door. If you haven't done that before, it's not really that difficult. Here is our OEM tweeter. And as you see here, it is connected. The one that has the black is our connection. And we're gonna disconnect that. Just like any other clip here, push in. There we go. All right, that's disconnected. We have two 10 millimeter bolts we're gonna remove. And here is our OEM tweeter. So it is on a bracket, as you can see here, looks like it's glued. It's not a piece that you can just unsnap. We're gonna to have to break this off of the bracket if we wanna reuse it, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll disconnect this, break it off the bracket. I'm gonna glue the new tweeter to the back of here so I can reuse this bracket. One thing, and if you watch the other videos, I am not an expert with this, that is really confusing to me is the fact that you can see here, maybe you could see here, we have a black and a red, fine, right? Going into the tweeter itself. But if we take it, if we go down the wire, we have two reds and two blacks. So somewhere at some point, they switched into two. So I'm assuming that they're, the two reds are connected and the two blacks are connected. So we have the new tweeter and that has your positive and negative it's already connected with the terminals. It comes with, this comes in the kit. So we're gonna connect that into here. And on the other end, it has the bare wire. So I'm going to have to connect this bare ground and power into here, which is a little bit of a problem considering that we got a pink, a black, a blah, blah, blah. I, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is taking the old, splicing it in up top and using this connector to connect into the black just like we would with the OM. So what I'm going to do is solder the ends of the new wire into the clip here. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, if you found it entertaining, if you want to help support the Lemon Factor, please consider hitting that super thanks button that can be found at the bottom of the video.
So now we're going to mount the tweeter with the two 10 millimeter bol bolts. And we are going to make our connection to the harness right here. And we attach it to the clip. Satisfying. These tweeters are three and a quarter inches. I believe, I gotta go measure. I believe the OEM are one inch. So they clear the holder. And if you are looking for new tweeters for yours, make sure it fits, it's the right size. Uh, Crutch feels really good about that. You can put it in your car and it'll tell you if it fits or not, and if it fits with some slight modification. So maybe you have your heart set on a specific type or brand of tweeter. Uh, it'll let you know if it's possible to get it behind uh, with some modification. I am hoping that it is a noticeable difference. Let me know what you think. Do you think by changing out the tweeters in the upper door here, do you think I will notice a difference again in the, in the high frequencies both the tweeters are in. I start it up. I think I hear a difference, but honestly, it's not as noticeable as the stereo and the six and a half inch door speakers. I'm going to continue to listen to see if I can hear a difference. I'll let you know, but off the bat, just uh, initial reaction is it's not huge. It's not a big difference. Uh, maybe I have to play the right music to be able to hear those cleaner highs. Overall, it is a relatively easy install. I think for first timers, removing the door panel might be the most difficult part. Although if you're not familiar with uh, soldering or um, connecting wires, that might give you a little bit of a hang up. But overall, it's pretty straightforward. With that said, I think we're done for today. I wanna to thank you very much for joining. And until next time.